clashes in Egypt after deadly football disaster Friday 3rd of February. Egypt is in turmoil as protests rage over soccer deaths spread to Suez City. Clashes erupted between protesters and security forces in central Cairo on Thursday and spread into Suez, with about hundreds injured. Black Lab Riot police fire tear gas and rubber bullets at demonstrators. Egyptians incensed over a deadly melee at a soccer match clashed with security forces during protests against the Arnold government for failing to prevent the deadliest incident since the overthrow of Hosni Mubarak. Five protesters have been killed so far in which three were shot dead by Egyptian police in the city of Suez on Thursday, 2nd of February. Suez City Security Chief denied the death fall from police gun fire. Two more killed in fresh Cairo clashes today after police opened fire on a protest in Suez City. We received two corpses of protesters shot dead by live ammunition. Said a doctor at a move where the bodies were kept. Many shops in Suez were wrecked and the facade of the Suez Canal Bank was destroyed. Police had cordoned off the Suez State Security Headquarters and a Justice Ministry compound. With razor wire and seven burned out vehicles lay nearby. Roads were strewn with glass. About 3,000 people had demonstrated in front of the city's police headquarters and police fired. Tear gas and live ammunition, witnesses said. Two female American tourists and their Egyptian tour guide have been snatched at gunpoint. The minivan near St. Catherine's Monastery in the Sinai. A search is underway with helicopters. In live videos, angry protesters have been seen carrying fake coffins during the protest. Protesters pushed through the barricades erected around the fortress-like building as clashes intensified overnight. Demonstrators were throwing rocks through the clouds of tear gas fired by security forces near the interior ministry in Cairo, prompting hundreds to flee. Many were injured mostly from tear gas inhalation. The interior ministry said in a statement that security forces were protecting the building. After protesters cut the wire barricades and climbed over concrete walls in an attempt to reach the building, the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces still in control of Egypt until presidential elections scheduled for June has been left gravely exposed by the latest violence, with many blaming its inability to maintain law and order for the carnage. The Muslim Brotherhood, the dominant force in Egypt's parliament, pointed the finger at provocateurs acting on behalf of remnants of the regime of Hosni Mubarak. A pledge to end power to an elected president by the end of June has been triggered by fresh criticism of the ruling military council. In Cairo and the city of Suez, protesters turned the rallies into a call for Egypt's ruling military council, led by Field Marshal Hossein Tantawi, to surrender power because of what they say is the militarist mismanagement of the country's transition to democracy. More rallies were planned Friday in the newly elected parliament. Members of parliament including the Islamists who control some 70% of the chamber demanded the government be held to account during an emergency session attended by Prime Minister Kamal al-Ghanzori.